What's going on guys, we are back with episode 4 of my Feed the Beast Machine tutorial series and today we're going to be going over the much requested fusion reactor. So the fusion reactor, if you don't already know, it requires a lot of materials so you're gonna, this is like end game stuff right here and it's probably the best way and the coolest way to generate the most EU that you can in the game. I believe it puts out 4096 EU per tick so it's crazy. So first I'm going to show you, this is how you make the fusion reactor, it takes four energy flow circuits in each corner, it takes a Greg Tech computer cu cube, which is really cool, if you don't know how to use it you want to look that up, because it in itself is really cool, it takes two super condensators and two lapatronic energy orbs, which I don't believe need to be charged, I just have them here because obviously I spawned them in in creative. And next you're going to need 24 fusion coils, and this is really expensive. It takes two Tesla coils, one in the top left corner and one in the bottom right corner. Then you have an iridium neutron reflector in the very center, surrounded on all four sides by highly advanced machine blocks, a superconductor in the bottom left corner, and an energy flow circuit in the top right corner. And like I said, you're going to need 24 of these. So let me just change the time. And over here I have the 24 fusion coils that we're going to need and the fusion reactor and I'm going to go and build this right now this is going to be what the final product looks like right here and this is obviously just it says the coils are there yes if you're curious there's no way you going into this we're not pumping anything in this is just what you need to get it to begin setting up so we're going to come over here we're going to put down the fusion reactor block itself and then if you count out two from each side, put three blocks here, one, two, three blocks here, one, two, three blocks here, and one, two, three blocks here. Then you can just go like this and connect them. You can make, I guess I don't even know how you just describe this, just one, two, three. One, two, three, connecting them, boom, that's used up 24 and now it says no it takes a little bit to respond so obviously don't do this in the game but if you replace it boom instantly coils are there yes also you need an electric wrench for this and make sure it's in lossless mode make sure because this right here you do not want to lose like this is probably the worst block of the game to lose honestly that'd be horrible so now I'm going to go over how you're going to take the power out of this because it generates, like I said, 4096 EU per tick. So you're going to take two high voltage transformers and you're going to put them on the sides that do not have this little, what looks like almost like an orb there. So if we put it down I'll show you. just looks like this, just has a white dot on each side. That's where you're going to put the two high voltage and you're going to make sure that the three circle side is facing those so if you just stand like this and place it, it'll work perfectly. And then you're just going to take it right out the top, connect it, and run it down to MFSUs. Now these are placed incorrectly, and I apologize. I can actually fix that right now. There we go. So that's what it can look like. This is the simplest way to set it up. Really, this takes the least resources to set it up like this. Obviously, it's not the most effective way, but it works. So you also don't need all those MFSUs there, I just have them there to show how you're going to probably want to send it to a lot of power, or places to hold power. So next, I'm going to show you how we're going to put power to it. If you look in here, yeah, it already has like 6.5 million EU, that's because I was testing to make sure it worked before I showed it to you guys. But if you see, we connect it, I have a pretty crude solar panel array over here, not even an array, it's just a lot of solar panels. Um, if you see the EU is going up, obviously you're going to wire it into the side that has a little orb on it. And if you really want to, you could wire it into both, but you don't need to. You can save space. Now, if we come over here, this is the completed, um, without any automation to it. You can see that we have these two combined, both the energy coming out and energy going in. Now, this one has 100 million EU, and it takes 40 million to start up so you're probably not going to want to stop this and I'm going to show you right now we're going to put the deuterium in tritium in the top and deuterium in the bottom and it starts you can see right there it took 40 million EU and if you look over here boom these things are getting power 
Now, I already used this just to make sure all this worked, so there's power in there, but you can see that with all these, there's some serious power going into them. And if you look back in here, obviously you do get empty cells, but you only get one, so it's not, you're, you're going to lose, um, em you're going to lose one empty cell each time you go through. And then, you can see it's, it's working, you got the light on the side. Now I'm going to teach you how to automatically insert both deuterium and tritium. The tritium goes in top. Obviously, this is probably one of the easiest ones to automate. You're just going to have a chest, or you know, you could have something that's putting the tritium from a tank into cells and pumping them in here. Anything like that. Whatever you're going to be pumping the cells from, you're just going to pump it out and boom, put it right in the top. And I'll actually show you right here. Let me uh, grab some from over here. Put the tritium up here. It'll start pumping them out. And same thing the deuterium in the bottom just pump it from wherever you want put it in there and boom they'll pump out and they should go into the top the tritium and deuterium into the bottom now obviously this isn't going to start the reaction when they get in there because there's no EU to start it up but if there was it would work boom they both go in there perfect it's all good and then you're gonna have to mess with all these wires over here to get everything to work really guys it's not that complicated to work at all it's just really resource heavy. You need so many resources to do this, but trust me, you will benefit a lot from it, okay? So I know a couple people have done this, and uh, the first one that comes to mind is Nebris. If you want to go watch his video, he actually automates it further into making a whole factory and uh, into making UU matter. It's pretty crazy, actually, what you can do with this, but if you're looking for like high-tech endgame stuff for Feed the Beast, this is what you want to get, the fusion reactor. Okay, guys, so I hope I helped you out with this. And if you have any questions, post it in the comments. And just recommend what you want to see next time because people wanted to see this and uh, gave it to you. So hopefully you enjoyed the video, guys, and I'll see you guys later.